Exercise is my source for strength, energy, and empowerment. I never feel better than when I'm kicking butt in the gym. I'm Kathleen Tesori. The goal of today's workout is more muscle building or maintaining your muscle. We're going to be supersetting everything and we're going to be hitting all the major points of the upper body. That's why I really like this is because you can go into the gym, you're going to hit your shoulders, your back, your biceps, your tries. So this workout should take about 30 minutes, possibly 45, just depending on how busy the gym is, how you're feeling. Let's get started on our first superset. All right, so our first superset today is going to be pull-ups right into dips. I really want you to go all the way up, all the way down, and really contract those muscles because we're only doing five to eight. Let's go. All right, so make sure that you lean slightly back. Go all the way up and all the way down, nice and slow. Remember, we're only doing five to eight reps. You've got this. So the goal of the pull-ups and the dips is, for the pull-ups, you're gonna be really focusing on your lats and your um, back, whereas the dips are going to focus on your triceps. And from there, we're going straight into dips. The important thing is to keep your arms nice and close to your body so that it rubs your body on the way down. And come up. Again, we're only doing five to eight. So focus on going all the way up and all the way down. The reason why the rep range is kind of low is because these two movements, unassisted, can be very difficult for people. And so I like to make it a realistic goal for people to try and get close to doing it unassisted. And so the lower rep range makes it more achievable. All right, that's the first set. Go ahead and take a 30 second breather. Our second circuit is going to contain rows, superset with chest press. And for the rows, we're gonna do an eight to 12 um, rep range, and the chest press, we're gonna do a rep range of 15. Now, I put these two exercises together because you can do them all in one location. Okay, so you're just gonna lean like 45 degrees back, I'm just gonna pull it all the way, and I don't lean forward, I just allow my arms to go all the way forward, and I pull straight back. Squeeze those shoulder blades nice and tight. So the rows and the chest press, we're going to move up into a higher rep range because it's an easier movement, and so we need to increase it to make it more challenging. All right. And then we're gonna go straight into chest press. So a lot of people think that you have to switch workouts all the time, but I challenge you, if you have a favorite workout, do it a couple times, get really efficient at it. And then what you can do is you can increase the amount of weight that you do, you can decrease the amount of rest. I like to go nice and slow. It really helps to build that muscle and exhaust your muscle um, easier without having to lift heavier weight, which is a great way to reduce injuries. All right, that's our first set. Go ahead and take a 30 second break. So my first set was a little bit light for me, so I'm going to increase by 10 pounds this time and see how that feels. I'm gonna keep my core nice and tight, and if you notice, I'm not rocking back and forth because I'm doing the whole movement with pulling with my back. I think that people should change up their variations um, each week. Um, one week you could do the close grip, and then the next week you should do the wide grip. That way you're balancing and you're achieving that balanced physique. All right, and let's move straight into our chest press. A lot of women are afraid to work chest. They feel like they don't need to work the chest or they're worried about overdeveloping or whatever the fear may be. And you know, it is perfectly fine, women, to work your chest once a week. It's part of developing that overall package, that overall physique.
All right, so our third circuit is going to be um, a lap pull down superset with dumbbell pullovers. And we're going to be doing both of these exercises eight to 12 reps. All right, I always like to lean about 45 degrees back and pull straight down till it actually touches my chest. Make sure it's a nice and slow and controlled movement. You don't wanna be like moving around like this. Nice and slow and controlled. You should be feeling this in your lats. So really squeeze those shoulder blades together as you're pulling down. The hips stay low because it increases the intensity and really increases the amount of stretch and workout that you're going to feel. You'll be feeling this in your lat and your chest area. You're gonna be feeling a really good stretch, but just push through it. All right, go ahead and take a 30 second break. Grab some water if you need. We're moving into our fourth circuit, which is going to be rear delts supersetted with side lateral raises. We're going to be doing eight to 12 reps on the rear delts, and we're going to be doing 15 reps on the side laterals. This movement is really small, and you really can't do a lot of weight. What I like to do is I like to relax the shoulders. So drop your shoulders as low as you can. And then what I want you to do is I want you to keep your shoulders and almost like your shoulder blades flexed and contracted the whole time. I'm using five pound dumbbells and I could definitely feel the burn on that. Now we're gonna move right into side laterals. So I'm gonna start with 12 pounds, but I might have to drop it down because we're doing 15, so I'm gonna see how far I can get. All right, so again, relax the shoulders down. Don't hunch them up, relax them down. Make sure your abs are nice and tight in throughout this whole exercise. And also remember to breathe in and out. All right, here we go. So you notice on all my movements, I like to go nice, slow, and controlled. I'm gonna drop down the weight to finish my last five. For the rear delts, you'll see people just swinging their arms, like trying to just get them up with explosive movement. And I think it's better, safer, and healthier to do a slow, controlled movement. And don't worry about the amount of weight that you're lifting. All right, we're gonna go straight into side laterals. Again, roll your shoulders down. Don't have them like this. Roll them down. If you start to go like this, take a pause, take a breather, or drop the weight, okay? All right, I'm gonna drop the weight. The important thing here is we wanna hit our reps, even if you have to go down in weight. And form is key to getting that nice, beautiful shape. movement we're going to do is called a W curl and the W curl is where you put your elbows right into your sides and you're going to be curling upward like this so it looks like a W. The important thing is to not rock and not try and get them up like this. You're going to stay nice and controlled, keep a really good posture and keep your elbows into your sides. Also keep that core in. And make sure you keep a nice, consistent breath and really focus on squeezing the biceps. And then my favorite exercise, I call this the finisher, the bicep finisher, but the technical name is static curl. So what we're going to do is we're gonna keep one arm at 90 degrees like this. 
So this arm is gonna stay this way the entire time. You're not gonna drop it down here. You're not gonna have it up here. It's gonna be 90 degrees. And keep that hand open. And then you're gonna curl with this side. We're gonna do 15 each arm. This just really isolates. You're working two different kind of movements. You're curling, but you're also holding this arm, the with the static arm, in an isolation movement. So it's working both arms. Now I'm going to make this the 90 degree, and I'm gonna be curling with this arm. Both arms are burning, but we're almost done with our workout. That's our first superset. You're gonna stay nice and controlled. Keep those elbows in at your side. That's probably the most important thing. Let's go eight to 12. I like to save biceps towards the end because it's a small muscle, it's easy to work out, and it's a great finisher. Because technically, when you're working your upper body, you're indirectly working your biceps the entire time. So I like to save it for the end to be that last finisher to totally annihilate them, burn them out. And go straight into the static curl, 90 degree, curl with the other. Don't let that arm drop below 90 degrees or above 90 degrees. So I would save this workout for those weeks that are really busy where you know you're only gonna be able to hit two or three times a week or also when you're just about to maybe go out of town and you wanna hit your whole upper body. The full breakdown of today's workout can be found below right here on bodybuilding.com. If you have any questions about today's workout, anything that you heard me talk about, or any exercises, feel free to comment below on this video. I'll be checking back everywhere on every social media. I'm Kathleen Tesori. For more free videos and articles from athletes like me, make sure you check back on bodybuilding.com.